So Linux Mint comes with a lot of great features, but one thing that it's lacking are options in the right click menu. Now you can add things. If you go, for instance, uh, open up Nemo and go to edit preferences. And then here it says context menu. Now you can add some more things in here, um, but just standard stuff, copying and pasting and making a link and open a terminal. That's just standard stuff. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to up my game. I wanted to add a lot more features to this that I could use. Now, if you go here, right click inside of a folder, you can create a document, but that's it. Just create a document. But I want so much more than that. So I'm going to show you all the things that I added to my right click menu. And then I'm going to show you how to add them to yours. So I switched back to my main user here. And let me show you some of the things that I've added to my right click menu. Right here, first off, you go to create new document, a new drawing, a new formula, new presentation, new spreadsheet, new writer document. Now these are all part of LibreOffice. And then over in the main area here, copy full path, send copy to USB drive. That's um, if I just right click on a file, I can send it to the USB drive. And also if I right click on a file, I can send it by email. So what it will do is it will take the file that I right click on, send it to Thunderbird, start a new message, and then all I have to do is just type in who it goes to, and I'm done. So these three things here, copy full path, send copy to USB drive, send by email, and then these here, new document. So let's get started. Okay, so the first ones we want to create are super easy. We right click, new document, and we want all the LibreOffice type documents to show up right here. Now this one is the easiest of all. You'll see it says no templates installed. So what we do is we go to computer, we go to home, and in the home directory, there's a folder called templates. So you just click on templates, and in here you'll notice that it's empty. In here is where we're going to place our new documents. Now we could just right click and go new document like this, and then just name it like ODP. Problem is sometimes they're corrupted that way. Uh, so we, we don't want to do it that way. We actually do want to go to um, Office. Let's go to Calc. And let's just save this as we're going to go to the home directory, templates, and we're going to go new spreadsheet. And so now we have a new spreadsheet in here. And then we're going to open up writer and we're going to go save as new writer document and depending on if you want another uh, another one if you want a uh, a new drawing then you just go into drawing your office draw and we go save as and we just type in new drawing and there we go so I've got the three here, and I do want presentation because I do use uh, LibreOffice Impress quite a bit. So I'm going to go Impress. I'm going to save as home templates, and I'm going to go new presentation. And now I don't use formula, so I'm not going to do that one. But I do have these four and I do use these quite a bit. So if I right click, now I have my new ones. Now to get the other ones to show up here in the main right click menu, this is a little bit different. So let me show you how to do that. So the first one we're going to do is send a copy to the desktop. Now I do a lot of work and sometimes I'll have a file that I'm working on, but I don't want to change that, that for the master file. So what I do sometimes is send it to the desktop where I could work on it and manipulate it and whatnot and not change the original. So let's just assume that, let's just say that I'm in, let's go to downloads and let's just pick this for instance. If I right click on this, I want the option right here to show send it to the desktop. So the way that we do that is we're going to create a Nemo action because we're in the Nemo file manager. We're gonna go home, local, and then share, Nemo, and then actions. In here, we're going to create a new document. So just go empty document. And we're going to call this document send 
to desktop dot Nemo underscore action. And then we just double click on it. And that opens up this document here. It's blank. And then what we want to do is paste this information here. And don't worry, you don't have to type all this out. I'm actually going to put a link in the description to where you can go out and download all of these uh, actions. And then we're going to save it. And then we close. Now to get this to work, we have to actually restart Nemo. So we go to the terminal and we type in Nemo hyphen Q. And that closes Nemo and restarts it. And then when we go to, let's say, downloads here, right click, send a copy to the desktop. And there it is right there. I could send a whole folder to the desktop, send a copy to the desktop, and there's that folder. So no matter where I am and how deep I am into the system, I can send anything. Copy to desktop. And there it is. The next one we're going to work on is to send something to USB. So suppose that I'm here and I'm in my documents or actually my, my downloads, and I want to send this to a USB drive. If I have a USB plugged in, let me plug in a USB. So I plugged in a USB. Here it is. And I want to right click on something and send it to the USB. So let me show you how to do that. So to do that, we're going to create another Nemo action. The first thing we want to do is install a program called Zenity. So we go sudo apt install Zenity. Oops. And I already have it installed. But you want to make sure you install that first. Let's go home, local, share, Nemo, actions. And in here, we're going to create an action called send to USB, oh, send hyphen to USB dot Nemo underscore action. And in here, we're going to paste all this information. Like I say, don't worry, I'm going to have links to all this for you to download. And there we go. Now let's restart Nemo again. And let's open up the USB drive and open up our downloads. Right click, send copy to USB drive. And there it is right there. We could send that copy to USB drive. We don't have to be doing, uh, you know, we don't have to open up a bunch of folders and drag them over. Just right click on anything and it'll send it over. And incidentally, I have this set up to make a noise when it's done copying. For instance, um, let's just go local, share, Nemo, action, and then just if we wanted to just copy the actions folder over, send a copy to USB drive, and you'll notice it gives us a notification and it um, gives us a little bell. And the last one we're going to install is the one I use the most, actually, and it is send by email. So whenever I click on a file, let's say I want to send a picture, a photo or something to a family member. I just find it. I right click on it and I want it to just show up here, send to email, and then it will open up Thunderbird for me. Now, this works if you have Thunderbird as your default mail manager or mail client. Uh, if, it, if you don't, then you'd have to completely rewrite this script. So we do this by going back to Actions. We go back to Home, Local, Share, Nemo, Actions. And in here, we're going to place one called Thunderbird-Mail2.Nemo underscore Action. And in here, we want this information here and paste it and then save it and restart Nemo and if we click on a folder a file right click send by email and it opens up Thunderbird and my attachment is right down here and all I have to do is type in who it's going to subject and send it on off and I'm ready to go this is the one that I use the most believe it or not somebody will always be asking me can you send me such and such a file? And all I have to do is find the file, right click on it, 
and send by email. And then I'm ready to go. Piece of cake. I don't have to go here to attach file and then look for it and then finally click on it. And then it, I, it, this does it all for me. So there we go. We have the create new document, all the LibreOffice files. And then we have the send copy to USB, send by email. And there is a new one that I'm working on. Um, it's actually copy path. Uh, what I want to do is I want to right click on a file and have it copy the complete path of that file. In other words, where it's located. But I'm still working on the action. When I get it done, I'll let you guys know and I'll put it out there on the uh, with the list of the other ones that I'm going to put in the description. So hopefully this will increase your productivity greatly. It does mine. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell if you would. That way you'll get notifications when I upload a new video. We'll catch you guys later.